It, cer it certainly is extraordinary to watch uh, a moment of great celebration. Uh, they, the military has ousted the government. The people had said, we need talks. The people had said, you're not doing what we elected you to do, Mr. President. He brought in his Islamist uh, ways of thinking and, and Islamist rule, was going farther and farther toward Islamist rule. The Egyptian people, 30, 70% uh, uh, of all Egyptian people are under the age of 30. 70%. They will now be a part, says the leader of the military, of reforming the government. But this party is just the beginning. As uh, Tim Marshall, the foreign affairs editor for Sky News, our, our network in Great Britain, put it tonight, uh, there is no way to know what tomorrow brings. Certainly, they will have new elections in, the, in a matter of just a few short weeks. Uh, hopefully, they'll be able to keep the two sides in this conflict, because make no mistake about it, President Morsi and his Islamist government have great support within the country. He was elected democratically, albeit by a, a narrow margin, at 52 to 48 percent. But he did have a great deal of support among the Islamist faction of the country. Uh, whether they will rise up in some way or attempt to against the military or against their fellow citizens remains to be seen. We can certainly hope not, because what the world needs in Egypt is stability. And the military reflected that uh, just a short time ago. Watching over it all from top of your square for us is our correspondent, Connor Powell, who's covered wars in Afghanistan and, and uprisings in hot spots all around the world for us. Uh, it's my understanding, Connor, that these crowds are bigger and louder and more jubilant than they were when Mor Mohammed Morsi came into power. Uh, Shepard, uh, what we understand is that these are the largest crowds from uh, even before the revolution two years ago. I mean, the local staff that we've talked to here said that there are streets that are full of people tonight that have never been full of people before, even during the height of the revolution two years ago. So by all estimates, these are the largest crowds. One of our local guys was telling us, remember that two years ago, many Egyptians were still scared to go out and protest against the government, against the Mubarak era, and against the military, you should remember. Now, Egyptians are fully comfortable to go out and to protest. They came out in mass on Sunday. They never left Tahrir Square. They never left the other cities and streets across all of Egypt. And they have been partying here all night. Really, it started yesterday because they believed last night that the military came out on the side of the opposition here against the military, I'm sorry, against the Morrissey regime here. And the people here in Tahrir really do believe and have a belief for the last I don't know, 48 hours or so, that the military was going to remove Morrissey, was going to remove the parliament that they'd so disliked, and now their wish has come true. And they've been celebrating with this level of noise for more than 30 minutes now, Shepard. It is quite astounding. Uh, 